became the subject of suspicion and fear as no woman in the village was willing to risk her life to marry him despite the fact that he had everything that they wanted in a man. Once upon a time, there lived a very handsome man who was not only handsome but rich. His name was Dozie and he was of marriageable age. One day, Dozie met a very beautiful woman who he loved with all of his heart and decided to marry. However, on the night of their wedding, his bride mysteriously slept and died. This was a very devastating time for Dozie, who could not get over the fact that the woman that he loved was no more. He mourned her death for years and found it difficult to remarry. Dozie spent a few years single and his father, seeing how devastated he was, introduced him to another beautiful woman who he urged him to marry. Her name was Dabele and she was the daughter of Mazi Osadebe the popular village town crier. Dabele was not so keen on marrying Dozier because of the fact that she was in love with another. But her father, because of his long-standing friendship with Dozier's father, forced his daughter Dabele into marrying Dozier. He saw their marriage as a means of repaying Dozier's father back for all the help he had rendered to him in the past. Many years ago, when his daughter Dabele was still a child, she was chased out of school because of her inability to pay her fees. For months, Dabele remained at home, sad, as she watched her mates journey to school every morning, leaving her all alone in their hut. This affected her so badly that her father resorted to begging the villagers for money to pay her fees. That was how he met Dozier's father, Mazie Hinaya, who at the time was extremely rich. Mazi Osadebe pleaded for help and Mazi Hinaya provided him with the money he needed to settle all of his daughter's debt. Not only that, he also took care of their family and ensured that they never lacked anything. So, when Mazi Hinaya came forward to propose that Dabele be given out in marriage to his son Duzie, Mazi Osadebe made no objections because of all the kind things that Mazi Hinaya had done for him in the past. However, one of Dozier's uncles, Mazie Zianochi, began to cause problems for them. He warned Mazio Sadebe to keep his daughter away from Dozier, but Mazio Sadebe did not yield to his warning. Mazie Zianochi was known to be a man who was jealous of Dozier and his father. He was Dozier's father's only brother, who was not only poor but miserable. He blamed his brother for all his misfortunes and had always hated Dozier because of how wealthy he was in comparison to his own son, who was a known tout in the village. Mazio Sadebe knew how jealous Mazie Zianochi was of his brother and paid no mind to him as he went ahead to give his daughter out in marriage to Dozier. Their marriage preparations began and on the morning of their wedding, whilst Dabele was getting dressed, she slumped and died in the arms of her twin sister. The entire village was thrown into a state of confusion as the people wondered what could have happened to Dabele. This was the second woman who was dying and the people could not help but wonder why. Dabele's twin sister Iberi could not believe that her sister was no more. She wept profusely, remembering all her discussions with Dabele before her demise. She remembered warning Dabele not to marry Dozier because of a terrifying dream she had a few days to the wedding. In the dream, she saw Dabele who looked so distressed, trying to communicate with her, but she could not hear a word of what she was saying. Although Dabele was speaking to her in the dream, no sound was coming from her mouth. The dream terrified her as she had a bad feeling that something terrible was going to happen to her twin sister. And Iberi, on seeing how her twin sister died mysteriously, decided to get to the root of her death. She knew that something was terribly wrong and that her sister's death was not a mere coincidence, so she made up her mind to uncover the truth. However, on the other end, 
Tozier's uncle, Mazel Zianoche, went around the village, spreading rumors that Dozier and his father had a hand in the death of the two women. He called them ritualists, who used innocent people for rituals, and with all that had happened, the people had no other option but to believe his assertions. They avoided Dozi like a plague, and his once vibrant and joyous life turned into a sorrowful existence filled with loneliness and despair. Dozier lived a life of solitude, with his reputation tarnished beyond repair. He became the subject of suspicion and fear, as no woman in the village was willing to risk her life to marry him, despite the fact that he had everything that they wanted in a man. His father approached several families on his behalf to find a wife for Dozier, but all the families turned him down as they could not risk their daughter dying like the other women. Even Dozier did everything possible to find a woman, including begging for love, but no woman spared him a glance as they feared for their lives. You want to kill us like the other women, they said to him as they laughed and called him unprintable names. Dozier lived a life of misery, constantly reminded of the women who he lost to the cold hands of death. Years passed and Dozier remained single with no hope of ever finding love. Deep within his heart, he longed for a companion, and on one day, luck smiled on him as he met a young beautiful woman who moved into their village newly. Her name was Chika, and she was new to their village. Chika came into Dozier's factory to look for a job, and Dozier, on sighting her, fell deeply in love with her. He spoke to her kindly, and Chika seemed to warm up to him as well. She got the job at his factory and Dozie began to spend more time with her. The young women in the village, on seeing how close Chika was to Dozie, decided to warn her about his past. They told her all that had happened to the women who agreed to marry Dozie in the past and warned her never to consider marrying him. And Chika thanked them for their warning and walked away. However, she decided within herself to marry Dozie despite the extensive warning she had received from the villagers. Not long afterwards, Dozi asked for her hand in marriage and she agreed in a heartbeat. Delighted at the news, Dozi informed his father that he had found a wife. His father was so excited to see the joy in his eyes as he jubilated with him and began to plan for the wedding. Dozi's uncle, however, did not seem too happy with the news. He approached Chika to dissuade her from marrying Dozier, saying that if she loved her life, she would leave Dozier alone, as marrying him would lead to her death. Chika looked Mazia Zianoche in his eyes and told him that she loved Dozier and was going to marry him. The wedding preparations began, and the entire village stood at a lot to see what would happen. The people did all they could to dissuade Chika from marrying Dozier, but nothing they did worked as Chika's mind was already made up. The eve of the wedding arrived, and Chika noticed something unusual happen. Late in the night, while she was asleep, she heard strange footsteps outside her hut and decided to check who it was. To her greatest surprise, she saw a figure at the door, placing a powdery substance at the entrance of her hut. Chika rushed out with courage and saw Dozier's father, standing outside her hut. Mazie Hinaya, on seeing that his evil plans had now been unveiled, tried to use his evil powers to kill Chika, but was shocked to see that his charms were backfiring. This was so shocking to him, as he never knew that Chika was a very powerful woman. She was a very powerful Christian woman, blessed with great powers. Dabele's twin sister Iberi met her on one hot afternoon, and narrated her sister's tragic story to her. Chika, after listening to how Dabele died on her wedding morning, decided to help Iberi to get to the root of the matter. She approached Dozier, knowing all the rejections he had faced in the hands of women. She knew that getting him to marry her was going to be easy, owing to the fact that no woman was willing to marry him. Chika positioned herself in a way that will allow her uncover the person behind the evil and was shocked to realize that it was Dozier's own father. She called out for help immediately 
and the entire village gathered and was shocked to see Mazie Hinaya kneeling in front of her hut. With no room for escape, Mazie Hinaya confessed to all his heinous crimes. He revealed that he was a ritualist who used people for ritual. He also narrated how he killed the other women with the same powder which he placed outside their door at night. He said that once the women crossed the powder, they were marked for death and died shortly afterwards. He also confessed to using his own brother Mazia Zanoche and his son for rituals, rendering them useless and poor. He said that he did all this to increase his wealth and ensure that he remained wealthy all the days of his life. The village was in shock as Mazia Hinaya detailed his evil deeds. He explained that he used his evil past to ensure that every woman Dozier tried to marry died before the marriage was consummated. His ultimate goal was to keep his wealth and power, even if it meant sacrificing the lives of innocent people. However, Chika's strong Christian faith and her constant prayers had created a divine protection around her, which Mazia Hinaya's evil power could not penetrate. Dozier was so shocked to hear his father's confessions, he could not believe that his father sacrificed his own happiness for wealth, not caring how his evil deeds affected his life for all these years. Not long after Mazia Hinaya finished confessing, he slumped to the ground and died, and the entire village could not believe all that had happened. The elders, on hearing his heinous confession, decided that Mazia Hinaya would not be buried in the village but thrown into the evil forest to face the judgment of their ancestors. That was how the spirits of those who he had sacrificed, including Dabele, were set free from their bondage and Eberi, her twin sister, found closure about her sister's strange death. His brother and nephew also began to regain all that they had lost for all these years and Dozier ended up marrying Chika who brought so much joy and happiness to his life. They fell in love genuinely after all that had happened and decided to spend their lives together despite all that transpired. The lesson to be learned from this story is that we should not be so quick to judge others because our perception of them might just be wrong. Do no evil and purge yourself of all evil inclinations as nothing good can ever come out of doing evil. As the wise saying goes, the love of money is the root to all evil, so guide your actions and be cautious of things that you do in your quest for wealth. I hope you enjoyed the story. Like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.